professional racing drivers are a unique breed. They have a lot in common. They'll tell you that what they're driving becomes an extension of their own bodies, their senses, their reflexes, that the driver and his vehicle become a single machine focused on one goal, driving the equipment to its ultimate performance capability and winning. To be a winner in this sport, it takes teamwork between all the individuals on the team. They have to be very skilled and they have to be very determined with good goals in mind. This sport is extremely demanding. Everything happens with split second timing. It's somewhat like a video game, but it's real time. This car is made of carbon fiber and honeycomb aluminum. It is very space age when it comes to the technology and the design. It can accelerate zero to 100 miles an hour in less than three seconds. The preparation of the car is extremely critical because it takes very minor changes to make this car competitive. We're looking for hundreds of a second when we're out qualifying, so it is a very demanding situation for all the mechanics, and they have to be very well prepared. At 230 miles an hour, you're traveling over a football field in a second. There's absolutely very little, if any, margin for error. Just like the car, it is extremely important for the driver and all the team members to be finely tuned and physically fit. Everyone involved in the team uh, really has to be on their toes, especially pit stops, where you look at everything that's done in a pit stop in less than 15 seconds. Um, you have to be very aware of everything happening around you and be able to react quickly. You know, one of the advantages of having a little more knowledge Today than the old mechanic is the fact that today's sophistication on the cars is so great, you need knowledge in every area. There's absolutely no way a team can be successful if anyone on the team is impaired. You don't have to wonder why there's no room for drugs in this sport. At 230 miles an hour, you have about a third of a second to react. You don't have time to think about what to do. You must rely on your training, discipline, knowledge and reflexes a driver who's not in good physical and mental condition could get hurt it's that simple and life is like that too it's a competitive world out there you need to be in top form to compete and to realize your dreams there's no room for impairment that's why the american racing associations formed race against drugs a drug awareness education and prevention program encouraging young people in schools and at motorsports events to live a drug-free lifestyle. You too can join the motorsports drug-free teams. Go straight to the winner's circle. Don't use drugs. One more thing to say, kids. Go straight to the winner's circle, but don't use drugs. To control this machine, first you have to control yourself. You too can say no to drugs and join the winner's circle. This public service video is brought to you by Herxel and Ease, the name behind the names you know. In participation with Race Against Drugs, a partnership in drug education by American Motorsports.